chat, here we go. We got Jorias and Nupo, a matchup that I don't think we've seen before, despite these guys being in the 1v1 scene uh, a lot. You know, they have been around the block in terms of matches against most players, but apparently never found a chance to play against each other. Oh my goodness, it's the first time I've ever seen this uh, goal explosion. And it's gonna come in this show match. I wanna watch it again. Oh, it's, the whole map goes icy. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, but anyways, these are both really, you know, mechanical ones players. So their matchup, if it were to ever have happened earlier, would have definitely been exciting. So I'm surprised this is our first time getting it. And I'm excited to see how it goes down. I'm not sure that either one of these two guys is favored. Nupo has looked really good in this ones game recently. Of course, Joria's has never fallen from the top. But tournament Joria's does seem to be slightly different from show match Joria's. As Nupo gets a reset and gets Joria's to jump off the back wall and miss. We saw a couple hiccups, I would say, from Joris and show matches, and then the recent tournament showed that nothing compares to tournament Joris. Maybe a couple of players now can take him down, but... Nice pre-jump by Nupo. Shadowed the flick the whole way, and then pre-jumped and was hovering right in front of all the angles that Joris could flick to. Kind of hid behind the ball the entire time. So it is Joyce's car. I like this car. The white wheels, the white, what are they called? Zambas with the wings. Joyce's midfield 50 gets him his first goal. Joyce finds something out of this corner, tried to go all the way to the ceiling, back down to the ground for the pinch. Wasn't able to. Dupo, I think, got second in the Pro Drops Mina. I think that's the last time we saw Nupo play. He fell to Rawas, which was, you know, something that lots of different players did, including his opponent, Joyas, who was able to win the Pro Drops EU, but did not make it into the top four, or sorry, the top two of the 5K EU tournament. He fell to Moxie in the semifinals. Wasn't able to test his abilities in the crossover at Worlds. Or Worlds of the 5K, but the major for RLCS. Or is it too much to ask Nubo to change that goal explosion after this game? Is it really that bad for you guys? I mean, I think we're going to see people use it. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem... Are you guys in caves right now or something? And so when it all goes white, it's really aggressive. Dupo doesn't have the time to get boost like he maybe would have liked. Forced up in the air. Stop this one. Great read by Joria's. Yeah, even Dupo's going to throw the nice one. Notices that Nupo is creeping up. And the wave dash actually extra commits him to the play. Jory just goes right over the top. So thank you, Paranoiding, for the 11 months. The tier one for 11 months. Thank you, thank you. You squint every time he scores. Well, Jory's just gonna go for his half flip kickoff. Nupo cannot slot it in the corner. His pre-jump works out. Jory has hit it so high to the ceiling to the point where you can't really adjust it much. Even if you get pre-jumped, like, you can't stop the ball or you can't bring the ball any higher or lower you know it's already on its trajectory but Dupo wasn't able to win the recovery pretty nice wall dashes there as we watched it from his perspective it would have been amazing to see those wall dashes end up mattering but the reality is dashes like that often are being used to try and gain slight edges that really you know aren't enough for it to turn the result one way or the other, but you have to be practicing those. You have to be able to use those in all situations before you'll catch those few opportunities where it is the difference. Long shot from Nupo, almost definitely. No boost with him. High bounce. The best situation for him. He couldn't follow it up either. Actually, Joris is on zero as well. Follow up if it was underneath the crossbar. Likely would have been the tying goal.
Upo, he is not recognizing what Jorius is doing. Look at this take from Jorius. Nupo wanted the wall to air dribble, but you have to react to what Jorius is doing, who just stole it from him. He just stole the setup and said, I'll play it, as he taps it to the ceiling and gets it off the bounce. I mean, it's not the end of the world if Nupo recognizes he has Jorius chasing him down and doesn't just play right into it. He needs to immediately back off and look to play Joyce's touch as opposed to just living in his own world where his wall to air dribble was still going to happen. This time, his wall to air dribble is happening. He goes the whole field, tries to adjust the trajectory late, but it is not going to be enough. Joyce's save into a fifth. That is the dangerous thing about going for, you know, extra speed on shots. The, the late speed adjustment, if red is going to result in a really strong save, as opposed to other ways to try and beat out defenders, like slowing down, going for a 50, maybe using even a reset as almost a slower play. Right now, Nupo just can't break through. He is able to get back in time for this one. He tried to dive into the corner after sending it there. Couldn't connect with the ball. Majora is playing a bit of keep away. Stolen both back corners, and Nupo's going to have to defend with zero boost. Or very little, I should say. He picked up a few pads. He did miss. Troy is just the keep away continues. He's eventually planning on scoring here, but he hasn't taken a shot in a bit. That might have been his shot attempt that he missed on the ball as he looked to do a double. So 30 seconds left to go. Nupo needs three. He wants to bring it back in game number one. That pinch, not likely to do it. You can't really blame him for diving all in. But game number one in favor of the Oxygen team member. Not going to try and score a six as he passed to himself. Jorge is playing like he's on crack. Jorge is playing really solid. But something that we aren't not used to. <laughs> Game number two. Joyas and Nupo are going to start with a half flip kickoff for Joyas. And Nupo just does not read it at all. Ends up tapping it to him for free. Which means both of those half flip kickoffs that Joyas has run now have worked amazingly for him. Nupo definitely planning on at least bumping Joyas, even if his challenge didn't work. Look at this pinch! It's on target, but he needed Jorius to go to sleep or something. If he had completely left the net or stayed on the aggressive half thinking that pinch wasn't coming, then maybe it could have gone in, but Jorius was prepared. And we do see a couple strong attacks from Nupo at the start of this game, which is a good sign for him. A lot of lackluster finishes in game number one that led to Jorius taking it away. and. This time he's forced a couple good saves. I would say the pinch does test Joyes a bit. The follow-up was not bad, but here he's not going to be able to control the ball off the back wall. Nupo got caught on the wrong side of the ball, tried to recover and wave dash, popped the ball up, but ended up putting it in a position that he had no way to follow up. So it will be Joyes in the lead quickly at the start of game number two. Nupo can't chase Joyce back down on the wall, but he got him to miss, and it should be a goal. It would take an absolute miracle for Joyce to get back to this one. Joyce was pre-set up on the back wall before Nupo even started his play. He made it possible for him to be targeted. This is just so free for Joyce. If his half-flip kickoffs give him possessions like these, no reason to stop doing it. Although I would expect him to throw in the occasional standard kickoff just to keep Nupo guessing. As long as Nupo's guessing, it'll be, you know, 100% success rate or near 100. But if he commits to it too hard, I think that Nupo will eventually get the message and start to read those. Nupo trying to force it straight down the center of the field. Jorius, what a save to keep that out. Both of them were solidly behind the ball. Now Nupo, great shot here. Reset into the wave dash and slams it into the top right. Joyas with 30 boost. Didn't feel good about approaching to challenge, so sets up in net, but 
was never going to be able to make it to that one. Are we going to see TRK play ones one day? Yeah, I think TRK will, will come back. I would not say that TRK is out of the ones game forever. I think he's currently taking a break from it. But we've seen that from tons of players in the past. Usually make their way back at some point. Maybe a bit of greed here from Nupo. Trying to make something out of this play. I'm going to watch it again, see if we can see from his perspective. Yeah, a 12 boost reverse challenge there on a pretty high bounce. Obviously, hindsight is 2020. We got to watch it not work, but it's not often you can get away with reverse challenges ever in 1v1. Have to be just the right mix in terms of setup. And one of those things is that the ball usually hides the person who's going to backflip into the challenge. The high bouncing ball like that, Nupo was not hidden. <coughs> Sorry, Nupo was not hidden. Troy is. Definitely see it coming. Troy is possession play into the corner. Pinch from the ceiling. That actually maybe could have scored if it was on target because Nupo didn't make it to it before it hit the back wall. Nice demo. Nupo's going to get a third. But then again, if he had pinched it on net, I think Nupo then actually would have had a chance to get to it. <laughs> Jory has just almost killed himself there. Turned in towards the play and put himself right in front of the landing Nupo. Nupo taking risky challenges is the most Nupo-like thing. That's true. He does take high risks and usually keeps his speed high. Jory is air dribble bump. Puts him right back to Tide. Dupo backing off a lot and seemingly prioritizing pads despite being at like 40. I mean, he, he took a very interesting route across a ton more pads to get up to 80. He didn't really need any of that to make the save. Maybe that was just a fortunate way to set up his defensive position. Maybe he wanted to be there to try and stop the air dribble anyways. But it doesn't work out. Long shot from midfield, trying to surprise Troy is, but those have not been surprising him so far in this game. He's been able to handle them well. They even slightly catch Troy is off guard, then Nopu would be able to follow him up, but right now Troy is, is doing the opposite. He is cleaning them up and turning them into possessions of his own. Long shot from him, zero boost. He decided that was his best option, and Nupo, not a great touch here in his own half. I don't think this needs to be a Joria shot, but he can't catch the ball. He pops it so high that had to have intended to be a catch. No way did he want to launch that up to Joria's to finish off. Joria's into his back corner, and Upo wants to, f to find a way to make something happen. He's actually able to get a possession. He brings the ball right up to Joria's, but... Should gain it back here. Bounce too high for Joyas to do anything with. So he's going to head to net and try and wait to see if he can stop Nupo. But he outplays himself here a little bit. As he tries to keep his movement high, he takes himself past the play. It did look like Nupo was going to flick inside that right post from Nupo's perspective. I guess left post from Joyas' perspective. And then he lets it fall and takes it the other way. So good mix up from Nupo. Always been one of his strengths, his ball control and ability to threaten multiple options. Yo, Squirrel Canoe, thank you for the brand new Prime. Hopefully you've enjoyed the streams. Great to have you here. Do I hate you, Hadia? I don't hate you. I don't know why you would say that. Joey's going to tie this game up. Huge kickoff goal for him. With 40 seconds left, probably maybe even less than that at the start of this kickoff. The wave dash for Nupo not working out. Athlete kickoff, it is red for the first time and Nupo gets a sixth. Not often do people who read the kickoff still end up taking the ball just straight towards the net, but this is a great wave dash to surprise Joyez. Joyez felt like he could approach the ball and challenge after Nupo Looks like he lost control of it. You know, a strong first touch, but the wave dash recovers him back to the ball. 
and enables him to pop it over the top of Jorius for the lead. Has he just left the net open, though? He should be able to recover to this one. Will he be able to live through it, though, is the thing. Nice save off the post. Really great save from Nupo. The positioning there to make sure that Ebo doesn't get demoed and doesn't allow Jorius to have a follow-up was not going to be easy and was going to come at the risk of, you know, potentially own goaling or getting a bad bounce if you miss the post and don't get the angle you need, but he absolutely found it. And that demo will secure it. Game number two, gonna go to him. GG's from both these guys. Great defensive stand there from Nupo to end the game. He'll tie it up. Game number three. Troy is in Nupo. Nupo able to bring it back, but with razor thin margins. The first of the half-lip kickoffs to go in his favor. Troy has just hit him a few times. Dupo trying to get a powerful side flip shot to the top shelf, but put way too much on it, and Joria's ends up with the counter. Great read. Getting just underneath that ball as Nupo. I mean, that's going to be a tough challenge for Nupo to make. Big timer rush, 37. Thank you for the prime. Three months of prime. You keep forgetting to use it. Thank you for all you do. Hey, no problem, man. Yeah, always... Always got to use your prime right away. Uh, I think my prime has gone to Rizzo the past couple times because he's been the one who's live when it resets. So that's why you got to be live at all times to make sure you get people's primes right when they reset. Dupo, look at this dribble. Taking it the whole field as Jorius tries to get back to net. He's not going to get there in time. 107 kilometer per hour. Full field dribble reset. Thank you, Salamoy88, for the prime. Appreciate that big time. Glad I could be live when your prime reset. Oh, look at this shot. I believe back in the day we used to call it the Johnski. A nice tornado spin into a flick with a backflip. Really nice shot. Wave dash kickoff for Jorius, I think, was a difference maker for him towards the end of last game. This time it doesn't work out. It doesn't land the wave dash. Bo was hoping to bait Jorius in a bit, but he sees Jorius backing off. So he lets this ball bounce to the ground and goes for another attempt. Great challenge by Jorius to meet him at the apex of the bounce. Stop him from finding anything. But I do like what I see from Nupin. I think a lot of the top players will do this. I mention it because I think it was either Dr. Known, somebody who we were watching yesterday, I don't think was doing it as well. It's just recognition of what the defender's doing. Don't always just force yourself up into a dribble if your defender is, you know, reacting or, or adjusting to a position that it will be hard to score on them. Be willing to take it back down to the ground and try again, which is easier said than done. You need a bit more car control to feel comfortable in any sort of setup, but Dupo does it right there. That you know, That's just the perfect example. He, he took up to a dribble. Joy is backed all the way off, so there's no reason to waste a ton of boost in that process and make a shot that could be easy to read. Instead, he takes it back down to the ground and tries again. This time, he sticks with the dribble because he sees Joy is shadowing close, thinks he can get it over the top of him. Joy is just a great defensive play and another 50. These 50s have gone so well for him. He's going to be able to score off of it. He's going to go off the back wall. Nupo, nice read. Nupo's been taking some risky approaches to challenges. Whenever you're trying to push the ball through the defender, you usually want to get, you know, a goal side, or, or basically you want to be pushing directly through the ball to win it. And Nupo's been doing these sideways swings into his challenges and side flips. It's really hard to win challenges that way. And he's left himself exposed a couple times here. That's actually a great shot. It looked like an awkward landing, but it did a really good job of actually moving the ball towards the back post. And doing so very, very late, but unfortunately for him, Joyce's defense has been the reason why he won that game number one and why he is sticking around in this game number three. That being said, as I say that, I jinx him here as he goes in and out of the net, just 
flops off, and Duco's not going to have a hard time scoring that one. Oh yeah, chat, I added a new emo. I see somebody found it. I saw in somebody else's chat that you guys all know the chatting emo. Uh, I think we've used that one a few times before. What? This pre jump ended up working! <laughs> Jory is, I swear he could have saw it a mile away, but he still ended up flicking right into it. <laughs> Nupo is seeing the future and somehow convincing it to not change when I feel like it probably should have. But anyways, we added essaying, which is just chatting plus a bunch of text going in because I feel like <laughs> it's, it's almost funnier. So feel free to use essaying whenever you deem it necessary. Another midfield challenge not going the way of Nupo. This time he didn't even really 50 it. He just, I mean, that pre-jump is, he pre-jumping a lot and obviously he's sticking to his game plan of pre-jumping, but this time he had almost no boost and was approaching the ball so side on. It's just, you know, there must be worlds in which he wins that on occasion, but I'm not sure what the plan was. Oh, somehow able to get that midfield boost. I thought for sure he's going to have to give it up. But he gets the roll onto the side wall, and the finish isn't there. The defense from Jory has been too solid. Nupo gets that reset fairly late. If he could have gotten some movement that he was trying to get, maybe he gets Jory's to miss, but I think Jory just timed it well. A lot of that has to do with a ton of separation between the ball and Nupo. And give Joyce a bit of confidence on the fact that the ball won't be doing a ton of movement as he jumps off the wall. He knows that before anything happens, Nupo has to first get back to it. Nupo throwing the whoops as Joyce takes a 5 4 lead. Joyce has certainly had his fair share of open nets at the hands of Nupo, getting a bit greedy, but that's always been the way Nupo's played. Nupo direct kickoff goal. Put himself right back to even. Nupo pre-jumping something five years before the play. Yeah, that is definitely him. He has long since been doing that. Next goal could be crucial. Nupo gets no touch. On that setup, he popped the ball a little bit, and then I think he was trying to look for some sort of 50 as he went into the ball, but just didn't get anything. And now he actually just boxed out Jorias. Neither one of them get <laughs> demoed. I'm sure Jorias was hoping for a demo. It's not often you see this in Rocket League because normally you can't box people out, otherwise you just get taken off the map. But Nupo had a read that Jorias was not quite supersonic, so he drives in front of him and prevents him from getting to the corner and actually pops him up to the ball in the process. That was a pretty interesting play from Nupo. He's gonna go for a pinch, which is just gonna hand the ball over to Jorius late in the game. That seemed so risky. Why am I surprised that Nupo took a big risk though? Able to pre-jump this dribble. Jorius takes the corner boost though. A fake challenge in the corner, trying to get Nupo to get rid of the ball, but he is patient with it. This bump might have created a window. Nupo in and out of the net. He couldn't quite keep it out. He got back down to the ground. He wasn't going to have a ton of speed. That's actually really... He, was gonna, he wasn't going to have a ton of speed if he tried to reverse into the ball after getting bumped, but he decided to try and keep as much speed as possible by going in and out of the net and then getting down to make the challenge. But great shot from Joria's. 14 seconds. Will it happen in regulation? We will be seeing overtime. Joria's just passed the ball to Nupo. He's going to try and keep it away from him, and he does! Joria's does what a save because it definitely... Felt possible for him to get a touch on this. Nupo is trying to play keep away. Jorias is just spamming what a save. He really felt like he could get a touch on there. But he didn't get it in time. Credit to Nupo for getting the ball high and with pace to make the read. Tough enough for Jorias to even be able to miss in the first place. Obviously, you ask him and he says he just should have had it. But I still think Nupo made it as hard as possible. Game number three, going to go to him. 2-1 lead for Nupo. Game number four. Nupo and Joyas. Nupo been able to turn it around after the initial Joyas win. Joyas not getting a touch on this one either. Nupo continuing to try and play keep away. Great placement. 
as he slams it high off the back wall, a position that Jorius can't get all the way to, and he flops off of the post and did not make an approach towards the ball, was hoping to be able to react to Nupo's shot on the goal line. But Nupo makes him pay by putting it far behind him. These two are going to match in the wave dash kickoff here. And we've seen them both go for it earlier in the series. It has gone heavily in Jorius' favor, so good sign for Nupo there to get the advantage, although he might get scored on here. Great single jump to put the ball off the crossbar. Jory is trying to work his way in in slow-mo with 12 boost, but can't do so. Nupo's actually going to make his way to the corner in time. Jory has to get a touch there, but can Nupo still turn it into a dribble? Jory was trying to break it up. Oh, if that went inside the top right corner, that would have been an amazing setup. But Nupo hiding behind the ball right now. Jory is going to slow roll it at him and probably separate himself just a bit too much from the ball but that's credit to Nupo's defense and his ability to always stay moving to convince Troyes to get really nothing out of his possession right he was in a really good spot could try and flick could try and pop the ball over or you know air dribble bump something there's there's a position to be there's a play to be made there from that position but Nupo convinces him to do nothing with it by pre-jumping and floating behind the ball and then coming back down to the ground Jorias ends up just handing it over, which is a very interesting thing in defense that, you know, is, is less clear that somebody is playing defense well when they do something like that. You know, the, the most obvious times that defense is being played well is when an amazing shot comes out and then last second it gets saved and you're like, oh man, he's playing perfect defense. But if Nupo could somehow con uh, convince Jorias to never take a shot like he did... <laughs> A couple of possessions ago, I would argue that that's also perfect defense. But the reality is that Nupo's wild antics on his defensive end just as often lead to the kind of goals we just saw from Drea's as opposed to stopping him completely. Oh, nice demo attempts. Nupo saw no angle to be made with the musty. Not one that Drea's wasn't just going to be able to save, so he just fakes it, comes down to the ground, and gets in front of the ball before Jorias can get up. Nupo cannot get any power on this kickoff goal attempt. Jorias to the ceiling quick. Nupo gets a save and in fact he gets it so strong that it's probably a goal for him. Great read by Nupo. I want to see if it'll show us his setup here. No, it's not going to. He has met Joyas at the ceiling multiple times, but never with as big of a reward as he just got here. He's going to win this kickoff. Standard kickoff from both these two. Nupo bounced the ball a bit too high. Joyas not only able to take it away, but able to send it to the orange half. Nupo set up a pass to Joyas that he was going to have a hard time dealing with. He wanted to pop the ball over the crossbar and follow it up, but he couldn't get there on the first touch. and. Actually stood a chance there at making that save. I think what he was doing was assuming Joyce was going to go into the middle of the net since he had most of that space uncovered. So he turned towards the middle and Joyce actually was just banking on the speed of the shot to be the reason why it went in. So he just slammed it directly at where Nupo was. So that's the fastest way to get across the goal line. Joyce shot to the bottom left. Nupo's going to throw the nice one. Jorius, great catch off the wall. You see him get the ceiling reset, and Nupo has been loving his in and out save, but it's not going to happen here as Jorius finds the corner of the net. Big kick up from Nupo. Jorius going to immediately punish him. Haven't seen. Oh, they double half kick off. I look at chat for one second. I was wondering how we got to this position. Both of them have flipped. Joyas comes out the better of it, though. Joyas pinch. Might have stood a chance. You basically only score those when your defender is right next to you and hasn't fully recovered. Nupo getting pre-jumped. Ceiling height, and he just decides to protect the ball. A great choice. And he had a reset too. So Drea's, as he comes to attack, has to entertain the idea of a reset being used. So he's 
approaching the ball maybe slightly above it. But also, I think Choice was just a little bit less controlled in his challenge, which is a surprise. Considering, oh my goodness, what a save. Hippo throws the whoops, but I feel like that's just credit to Joyas for finding the post perfectly to send it away. But now Nupo, air dribble, the reset, doesn't turn into anything, and Joyas takes it away from the ceiling. They let it come to the ground, goes for a bit of a wave dash kind of pinch shot as he lands. And it has a ton of power, but not on target, so can he continue to break Nupo down? First touch, not great. Nupo sees that, and uses that as his opportunity to challenge. Troy is too good though. Still able to keep it away. Nupo, great read on the corner. Look at these wall dashes as he gets back to the ball. Nupo, he just earned himself a demo. Is he gonna get himself a goal from this? Nupo, the wall dashes have never been more rewarded than now as he chases down the ball. He's able to get that boost. I don't think he even gets that corner boost if he doesn't do that. And then Joris as he tries to set up a dribble back the other way. Gets taken off the map. Nupo speeding down the side of the field. A minute 18. And a tied score line. Troy is going to dive to steal the corner boost, but that's going to get him scored on. He instantly throws to no problem. I'm not sure what he was thinking originally. It sounds like he very quickly realized he had made a mistake. Great pass, says Nupo. Nupo turning directly in field. Made it look like he was flipping out to midfield boost and then tried to come back for the shot, but puts it way wide. The demo turns this into a goal. It didn't seem like a scoring position from Nupo. Felt like he was being greedy, staying on offense, especially with this very little boost. It was clear he didn't have much, but he always has a plan. He demos Jorius off the back wall. 7-5, two-goal lead for Nupo. He is going to half flip on this one. Jorius has the read. He has not been fully faked out by the half flip yet. In fact, I feel like he scored the two other opportunities at it. This time he gets a couple shots, but neither make his way through. Late touch by Nupo on the pre-flip. Look at that front flip to pop the ball away. I mean, it's nifty, but either way, it's going to be a Joria's possession. Bounce dribble as he tries to go top left. He threatened the right side of the net, wanted to get Nupo up, trying to protect it, and then squeeze it in the top left. But no, he throws the ha ha, -ha and hops out. I believe that's a forfeit. Nupo with the win. 8-5 with 25 left to go. Dupo did it. Ha 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 indeed, I guess. Does Nupo have the pogo? Nupo's pretty mechanical. As always, we have 22 seconds of pogo time. Nah. <laughs> is, that, is that his way of telling us that he doesn't have the pogo? <laughs> <laughs> he just leaves the match and leaves the party. Okay. <laughs> okay. We get it. <laughs> no Pogo. That's fine. GG's. Nupo. Great performance. You love to see these two speeds just go at it, but Nupo comes away with the edge.